thanks so much. It's really nice to be here. Marty, I have to give her credit. When I just started this work during the holidays in December, and Marty, I don't know, she was the absolute first person to ask me to come give a talk. And I'm sure you would have liked to come earlier, but she was very patient so that we could do some work there and come here now. So thanks, Marty. Thanks. So I appreciate when I have a chance to visit all of you in markets such as this, um, certainly having sweet treats like cookies, but understanding that um, marketing and the restaurant business and all of those combine to really deliver a rich experience when it comes to a community. And this community, honestly, there is nothing um, second class about it. It is a first class experience. And, Beginning with um, right in your downtown, which is awesome and vibrant. And what I want you to know is that we don't just have big fun when it comes to the tourism business, and you have a number of guests from that industry today. It's big business, and it's big business in Ohio. Um, what we're doing at Tourism Ohio is to be a complement to that which you offer in tourism. I saw some numbers with regard to the Ohio Light Opera. And that facility on its own sees about a $4 million impact in terms of economic impact for what is a tourism industry, and that is culture and the arts. On a statewide basis, and I have 2013 numbers that were recently released, and you're going to get some brand new ones here fairly soon for Wayne County. We've had a steady increase in visitors since 2009. And the direct spend, that is when I go and stay in a hotel or I buy a ticket to an attraction or I rent a car or fly here on a plane. Last year that spending in the state of Ohio amounted to $30 billion. It generated about $38 billion in sales when you take into consideration what it takes to offer a restaurant, for example, and a weighted average of food that they buy, that they serve to those in tourism who are visiting. Visitation in Ohio grew almost 3% to 195 million visits. And of those, 37 million spent the night. So on average, the reason that we like that, right, is the obvious one. Someone spends $110 if I just come to visit Ohio for one day. If I spend the night, that spend increases to $335 per person when I visit Ohio. Now the awesome part about that is that all feeds into a number of full and part-time jobs in Ohio that amount to just over 400,000 jobs that are supported by tourism and that spend. So you all run businesses and you're involved in academics and professional services and you do it really well. What you might not think about is as an industry the importance of tourism to us in Ohio. So those are really strong numbers. They show consistent growth. And what we're doing is a campaign, which is why I asked about the little HI, the high, we call it the high sign, is in some advertising that is promotional called Too Much Fun for Just One Day. Now, I bet you can guess the insight based on the numbers I just told you, right? Someone spends the night, they spend twice, three times as much. So it's a promotional campaign, and we've had the privilege of airing it in a much more aggressive way. We began the campaign in mid-April because research tells us that people start planning their trips that early. And after the winter that we had, people were thinking about my first go. And that was that's really kind of informally in Ohio, you know, it's 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 Memorial Day weekend. So we know that people take a month to six weeks to plan, and we didn't want to miss that. The other thing we're going to be able to do because of the new funding model I'm going to tell you a little bit about is to continue that marketing, so it's traditional, it's radio, it's television, it's print, it's digital. We're going to find you wherever you are. We're going to try to remind you about how much fun you can have in Ohio, but we're going to do that through the fall. And that wasn't typically something that could be done here in Ohio, given the budgets. There was advertising and support in that early spring, kind of May, early June, and then it was it. And that was it because that's all the dollars that we had available to us. So going through fall in particular in this part of the state will be important given um, the tourism dollars that we think we have upside opportunity for in, you know, during the changing of the colors of the leaves and just fall harvest activities and things that have been very authentic about our state.